Hey everyone, John 24 Gold here. Um, we've got the Racer Gold from Macro to have a look at today. Hope you guys all enjoy the video and happy hunting. So here as we open up the box guys, we've got some of the paperwork on the top and the metal detecting code of ethics and the paperwork from the International Detector Centre who were kind enough to supply this machine for me to review for them. Here we've got the arm cuff, the user manual and the warranty information. But nobody wants to see that so I'll put it aside. Here we've got a great bag supplied by Macro. Um, not many companies actually supply these bags with their detectors so it's awesome. Thanks Macro for supplying this. Also same again, we've got the screen cover here which is awesome. And here we've got the, the body cover of the machine itself. So they're both the rain protectors, guys. And they, they work awesome. Same again, not many detecting companies supply these. So thanks again, Macro, for supplying these with your detector. Well, if you're, you're out there in the mud and the rain, these things will keep your detector nice and clean. So having a look at the body of the detector itself, it's it's a great detector. It looks great in black in the in the main body of its of the detector itself. And the machine is very smart looking with a pinpoint and ground balance trigger. Looks like Macro has supplied an extra upper shaft here guys, which is awesome. It's great for changing your coil out in the in the field so you, you don't have to change it at the bolt. They look very strong and really well made. Carbon fibre and the upper shaft looks to be made of steel. The snap connect connectors on all of them seem to be very strong. And same again, this one seems to be very strong. Very impressed with this little bit of kit. Also seems to be a lot of height adjustment for, for shorter or taller people. Well here's a look at what's in the lower part of the box itself guys. Well first we've got the larger coil itself. It's a 10 by 5.5 inch coil. And it'd be great for covering a little bit more ground, bit bit of coverage, and it comes with a core cover supplied, which is also awesome. It seems to be very ruggedly constructed. Core cable is very thick and very well well constructed as well. Very strongly made. Same again. This coil here guys is a 13 centimeter or 5 inch coil and checking it, it's, the construction of it is very very solid. I'm very happy with the way these coils are. Um, knocking them around on the rocks or anything in the gold fields. You're always worried about the coils snapping at, at these ears here. But these ones are both really solidly made. The coils are very well constructed. Here we've got the charger guys. And it looks like Macro has actually some, supplied some batteries with it, so this one is batteries included, which is awesome. It will turn on and go straight out of the box, and there are chargeables. And here we've got the chargers and the car chargers, so this charger is actually um, portable, so you can use it in your car. And that's excellent. Um, just some basic headphones from cost, but these also probably work quite well. And uh, having a look down here, we've got the coil bolts and bits and pieces. So let's put the machine together, guys. Make sure when you put your shafts in that the snap connectors are tight and that you twist the cam locks. 
Macro's kindly supplied a lot of bits and pieces in, including some extra stuff. Here we have the bolts, and the nuts, and the rubber grommets. Don't forget to put your rubber grommets into your upper stem to keep your coil from moving around too much. The construction of the Macro Eraser Gold is incredibly versatile and very strong, great for use out in the gold fields in very rough conditions. Always make sure that you have your coil around the right way by double checking where your cam locks are. Don't forget to install your environmental protection cover to protect your screen. The coil cord will only go in one way, with a notch at the top as you can see. Push it in gently and screw the nut closing it. Using the cuff cover is a matter of personal preference, but as my arms are thin, I'm going to use it anyway. I can't wait to get this thing out in the field, but we've got to put some batteries in it first. Make sure you fit the batteries correctly, and fit the battery door securely. Now you can fit the body cover for the detector. It has a special hole at the back for the on off switch and a velcro at the front to keep it secure. Don't forget guys before you go out in the field to double check the user guide. But keep an eye out in upcoming videos. We will have the field test, depth test and a few other videos to, to come on the race of gold.